Welcome to the Automaticist. Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to use the disk utility. So this isn't going to be a super long video, but I'm just going to show you that, you know, it's right here in the applications folder in case you're wondering. Now you won't see it right here, but you will be able to, you know, scroll down, go to utilities because it is called the disk utility. Hmm. hmm wonder why it's in utilities then and it's right here now this actually looks a little bit different to how it did a couple versions of Mac OS ago but I would just like to say its function is exactly the same or very similar to what it would be on basically any version of Mac OS so if you're into vintage Macs like I am it will be exactly the same so that's sort of the thing about the layout now as you can see I have this flash drive plugged in and I'm going to format it and you know you can watch I hope you know you are watching YouTube so you're just gonna click this so this is the different levels of security so depending on how many times you want to overwrite the data if that's something that is important to you you can do that here, so this is like, you know, the second most, which takes a very long time. And then, of course, you could even move it up to, like, the most secure, which takes a very, very long time. Imagine that. So, we're just going to go for the fastest one. And that's basically that. Now, I did use an older iMac to reformat a flash drive, not this one, last night. And I had to run it overnight by just using the second fastest mode which took seven hours now that was a 2006 iMac basically kind of pushing it to its limits but still it is quite a long process and I am gonna assume that it's you know USB 2 flash drive and seeing as it's the USB 2 port it wasn't really slowed down by the machine too much I don't think maybe it was limited by the CPU but no, I'm just rambling. So that's essentially that. And as you can see, this is, you know, all real time. It's already done. That's sort of what that looks like. Now, I will say that, you know, we can open this up and drag it over. Now, what you're noticing is I have two monitors. So I have to drag it over for my second monitor, which is actually my main display in terms of it's the one that's attached to my laptop. And we, you know, we can copy over a file from my NAS and just do all that sort of stuff. But that's not really what you're here for. So that's really it in terms of the disk utility. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like and share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end once again. And goodbye.